So since it's such a nice warm day today, I decided I should get some equipment put away, which means I have to clean up my shop. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Whoever, whoever wants to clean up their shop. Uh, so I guess the baler should go back here again. Uh-huh. And the International should sit beside the Massey 1135 again. Uh-huh. So I, one nice thing about video is I looked at the video of the first year I had the shop. And <laughs> so I know this stuff fits. I just have to think what was, what's in here that wasn't here before? We didn't have that second quad, so this quad has to leave, and this little trailer has to leave, uh, and this junk just has to get moved, I guess. The lawnmower was in here, the bike was in here, the quad was in here, and the other tractor was in here. It seems impossible right now. So this quad can go to the old shop, I guess. It won't start, but we'll see if we can fix that. And so, yeah, I guess I'll take the quad and this trailer and they can go over there. Which means I have to move all... <laughs> you can see why this doesn't get done. <laughs> As, uh, it's a big pain in the butt. However, shop is not supposed to store junk. It's supposed to store valuable things like International 1086s that are excellent loader tractors. Some of you might get that reference from some other Saskatchewan guy disparaging the 1086. Horrible. Beauty of a rake is for sale. If you want it, not the 1086. No, we never sell these. Premium loader tractor. Oh, a little difficult to get into. <laughs> Just a bit, you know. It's an economy cab. I waste all that space. Room for one. The 
we use this beauty to move this thing put the new rake into the old shop I can't fit the hay bind into the old shop I, I could fit it into the new one but then there'd be wouldn't be room for anything else I think the rake is worth more than the hay bind so the hay bind won't fit in the old shop the door's not wide enough it will fit in the new shop but it would take up the space of two tractors and then some maybe because that crazy arm is so long so I thought about trying to put it in there and I'm not going to it just take up too much room Well, yeah, that motorcycle wouldn't fit back there. It would, it's too wide, too long, so. We can store other junk in that corner. The bike, I mean, it should kind of angle in here. We'll give that a whirl, or just have it sit right against this wall. Might be better, maybe I'll put the lawnmower back there. Could have got a little tighter there, but uh, well, I guess move all this junk and clean some more floor. Well, it's amazing how much how much room you have when you actually get things organized. I could have left that other quad here. The uh, let the baler tuck there, and then just surrounded it with a lawnmower and some some junk I don't have to pull the tractor that far back put my grapple fork down I got lots of room here so yeah it's good to get all that stuff in here I think the bike is sort of out of a danger zone there. Get these uh, old girls in here and hopefully they don't move again till summer. If they do, that means something went wrong with that. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of shocked at how much room I still have. I can, we can get uh, three cars in here still, so. I'll probably bring that trailer back. I use it to get wood, so a little quad trailer. Sit it here beside it. And, and uh, that's that. It's good to get all this stuff in here for winter. So, so I've got some pictures of uh, construction of the shop I'll put at the beginning or end of this video. People seem to like looking at at the at the shop so I didn't get any video of a construction for some reason I guess I should have but uh, I'll just throw those pictures there in case anyone's interested
Working hard, Mr. Bull?